Then we're dealing with open skies, the air transport across the continent. As you will know, there's, at the moment, air transport is a very expensive thing on the continent of Africa. Because uh, you don't have air traffic control that is centralized. To travel across the continent, you've got to get permits from country to country to travel, which is not a case like in Europe. You know, they've got one air traffic control, so that once you've got it, you can fly over all those countries to your destination. I'll give you an example. Recently, I was going to the funeral of the president of Namibia. And from Nairobi, you will get an, uh, the permit to fly over Tanzanian airspace, DRC, Zambia, uh, Botswana, and Namibia. I spent three hours waiting to get clearance to be able to fly. The other time I was in Dar es Salaam, wanted to go to Niamey in Niger. I spent ten hours in the, my hotel waiting because I had to get an overflight uh, permission over Uganda, DRC, Central African Republic, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Niger itself. This is what the issues that we were dealing with. To be able to get one continental air traffic control so that you can be able to travel much more cheaply and freely on the control of the Africa. Even commercial airlines have to pay this. That's why the air fares in the continent are too expensive. So dealing with this and also dealing with airports, proper airports and runways is an issue that we're dealing with.